You know what? All my hard work, everything that I have worked for, everything that I am, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck all of it. I built this business. Me. I bought the ring. I made all everything work. Me. You don't like me? Well then fuck you. You don't like what it says on my t-shirt? Fuck you. Fucking tired of this. Ten years. Ten years RWE been around. Ten years. And what do I have to show for it? I have broken friendships. It has hurt relationships. I've given everything to this business. I've given everything to my life. Everything I put my whole soul into. Does anyone care? No. No. Everyone looks out for them fucking selves. And sorry I'm cussing so damn much, but you know what? It's about high time someone draws the line in the sand. Every time, and I mean every time, in this company, there is a problem. I am the first to step up and take a look at it. Me. Who gives a fuck about the red wave? Fuck the red wave. The red wave is nothing. The RWE Championship is nothing. Sure, it's good to be a world champion in whatever company you're in. But you know what? It means nothing. Because the foundation of RWE means nothing. The foundation of RWE has been tainted. My career has been tainted. I've made some bad decisions and I'll be the first one to say it. And I've been a bad son of a bitch. I've freaking stabbed my best friend in the back more times than I can count to get a shot at the RWE Championship. But you know what? It's not about that no more. It's not about that no more. I have slithered my way to the top one too many goddamn times. I have held more championships in this company than I can count. More than anyone. I have beaten them all. My hands, look at my hands. Look at my hands. You see my hands? They're dirty. You know why they're dirty? Because I'm tired of burying people. Everyone I have faced, I have buried. Have you ever heard of a guy named Mark? No, because I buried him. My first tag team championship match and I buried him. 
You ever heard of a kid named Killer? No, because I buried him. You ever heard of a guy named Super Joey? Wool Boy's brother? No, because I buried him. His last match was against me for the United States Championship in 2006, and I buried him. Some freaking rednecks named fucking Buzzed and Farmer JJ. Their last match was against me and my brother Will Boy, and we buried them. Blue the Bull God, I buried him. And, and, and Gren, even Gren, the legendary Gren, RWE championship match, and I buried him. He retired. No more. So you know what? I'm tired of burying people. I'm tired of winning championships. I'm just tired. I want wrestling to mean something again. Remember back in the day, when backyard wrestling was respected, guys like Mick Foley and the Hardy Boys built their careers off of backyard wrestling. But everyone laughs at me. Everyone laughs at our company, ORWE. They just wrestle in a bounce house. Hell, look it up. Even Chris Jericho mentioned us on Raw. But you know what? Doesn't matter. Doesn't fucking matter. You know why? Because we're just some lousy kids. We need training. Look at your training right here. You see, wrestling, the sport of wrestling, doesn't mean anything anymore. And that's becoming more apparent as time goes on. I'm tired of it. Or know a guy named John Cena. Now, my friends will be the first to tell you that I hate John Cena. But I don't hate John Cena because of what everyone else hates him for. Everyone else wants to be on the bandwagon. Oh, let's hate John Cena. No, not me. I hate John Cena because hustle, loyalty, and respect is a catchphrase. I hate John Cena because I hate him for the same reason CM Punk disliked the guy. And that's because the idea that he's the best. He's not the best. He's not the best. He just puts, he just sells tickets for a big giant company that everyone has to bust their ass to get to. That everyone has to grab a brass ring to freaking make it anywhere. Well, you know what? Not in my company. Even best in the world, CM Punk calls himself the best in the world. Chris Jericho says he's the best at what he does. Triple H calls himself the king of kings. Those are catchphrases. I am not a catchphrase. I have never used a catchphrase. I will never be a catchphrase. I am who I am. I am the great destroyer. I am Ryan. You can look at me straight in my eye when I tell you that the reason I'm back is for the hardcore championship. Not because I want to hold it again, but because the 10th anniversary of RWE is not going to be tainted on my account. I have made mistakes. I let my company go, but I'm going to get it back. Joe, you've tainted. Pimpo, you've tainted the hardcore championship and the legacy that I freaking bled to build. My knee is fucked up because of that legacy and be hell and high water. I will come and I will beat your ass. A 10 year anniversary show. TNA wants to call their anniversary show Slammiversary. Well, it's going to be a bloody anniversary.